What do you guys say we put this mystery kit together? Let's see what's going on here. Interesting. All right, well, it'll be fun. Whatever the hell that says. Wow, a lot of diodes. A lot of diode steering going on here. Two different flavors, or three different, maybe four different flavors of resistors. We got an IC here. CD 451BE. I don't know. One tiny little capacitor, one electrolytic. Transistor. Bunch of switches. And a buzzer. Okay. Ten K, one K, hundred K, and three hundred ohm. Oh, good, they're all marked. That makes things so much nicer. <laughs> I love that. Okay, CD4511 is that I see. All right. So, let's see if we can figure out which resistors are which without the color codes, because frankly, I can't read the codes on these blue resistors. There's five of these, so that should be, what, the 300s? Why is that not reading? Five should be the 10Ks. Oh, why is it not reading? Because it's in the wrong hole, Paul. You dumbass. Okay, so yeah. That's the 10K. Then the 7s should be a 300 ohm. Yep. And then we should have a 1K and a 100K. And this is the 1. Nope, that's the 100. So we'll put the 100 off to that side and the one over here. And I think we're ready to get started. So I'm going to start by putting all these 300s in right here. Alright, so I didn't figure you'd want to watch me stuff all those resistors in the board, so I did that myself. Then we'll get to the soldering. Which is the fun part, you have to admit. So I've got my solder here. This is uh, MG Chemicals 6040, uh, 0.032 diameter. I like to use the really fine stuff. Got my soldering iron. Got my wool to keep it nice and clean. And then we can get started. I'm sure you guys have seen a hundred soldering lessons, so you really don't need one from me. But basically, you want to heat the pad and the lead then apply the solder just like that heat the pad and the lead apply the solder 
you just know you want to make sure you're not carrying molten solder off your iron onto the pad that never makes for a good joint and if your joint when you look at it edge on looks kind of like an apple that's not a good joint your joint should look kind of like a mountain when you look at it edge on so now real quick we'll just make sure those are all laying down and they're not so well, mostly they are this one just needs a little adjustment yep that's all she needs then I will do the same with this side I find it just really relaxing to solder because it requires concentration so you can kind of free your mind from whatever's been bugging you all day make sure you wipe your iron off every couple joints or so And then, we'll just cut off all the leads. And there we have our first batch of resistors. So I'm going to solder in the rest of the resistors, and I'm not going to make you watch that. Okay, so it's a couple minutes later and all the resistors are in. Now we got a buttload of diodes to deal with. So, you know, same as the uh, resistors. So I want to make sure that we have the cathode in the correct direction. The cathode on these little glass diodes is the side with the black line. We do have to allow a little bit more room when we bend the legs because they're only about 75% as long as the uh, resistors. So instead of bending them right at the edge of the body, you just want to give, <clears throat> give yourself a couple millimeters on either side and you'll be good. You know, bending these things to fit and carefully inserting them in the correct direction is probably the most time consuming part of this build. You see that one there is in a different direction than all the other ones so far. That's always exciting. Yeah, we'll just throw one in there to get you. No. This is good design so far from what I see. Only two jumper wires. I mean, that's, in my opinion, in my experience, that's how I gauge good PCB design is <laughs> the number of jumper wires required to make it work. And this is, you know, like I said, two jumper wires. That's pretty doggone good, in my opinion. 
your opinion and standards may be different. That's okay. That's why they're opinions. I mean, of course, the ultimate design has no jumper wires. But when, when you're talking about a single-sided board, that can be a little tricky. But we're coming along okay. Getting our diode soldered in. Alright, I'm going to solder in the other side. I'm sure you don't want to watch that. Okay, we got all the diodes and all the resistors in. and mm, It looks sloppy. There's no excuse for it. If uh, I was still teaching and my student turned in a project like this with sloppy solder like this yeah, he would not get a good grade but uh I'm not teaching so I guess I get to be a little lenient on myself it'll work they're all they're all good joints they just don't look good I could say I'm tired or my eyes are going bad but Honestly, there's no excuse. I've been soldering for 40 some years. That's just sloppy, Paul. We get those little switches in here next and solder them bad boys up. And I think we'll be in the home stretch. Nice thing about switches is. They lock themselves in really well. So you don't have to worry about them flopping around in the breeze while you're trying to solder them in. Except for that one I just knocked out. Get back in there. All right. Now we'll solder in the switches. Well, I don't know where you guys are at, but here in the Ohio Valley in the uh, greater Pittsburgh area, the temperature has been in the 60s for the last few days. And in my book, that is marvelous. Because take it from somebody who has breathing difficulties. That hot, humid, stinking weather we've had since mid-May makes summer absolutely miserable. But the gods are smiling because it's football season. And they've dropped the temperature into a reasonable football temperature. And my Steelers finally won last night. Did you guys watch that game? Pittsburgh against Tampa Bay. Did you see the stiff arm? The tight end. Vance McDonald laid on that defender. Fantastic. So the Steelers are 1-1-1, one, one, and one. and I am okay with that because the Browns have a better record than the evil empire that are the New England Patriots. And to make it even better, the Patriots got beat Sunday by the Lions. And who is the Lions head coach? Matt Patricia. And who's Matt Patricia? Well, he was Belichick's offensive coordinator. So Belichick got Belichicked. 
And the Patriots got their butts handed to them. That's how you know there is a God. When the Browns have a better record than the Patriots. Now, I know it's totally un-Pittsburgh of me, but I'm not a Browns hater. I mean, how can you hate them? They've just been pathetic for so long. I just feel bad for them. Now, of course, you must realize they are not the true Browns. The true Browns left Cleveland, what, the early 90s? And they went to Baltimore. The actual Browns are the Ravens. Now, I absolutely hate the Ravens, or the Ratbirds, as we call them. Because that's the Pittsburgh thing to do. Okay, where should we go next? Uh, how about this IC holder here? If it wants to go in, yes. Stay. Now my technique for these is, or these are, just solder one, make sure it's sitting okay, and it is, then we'll come back in, solder the opposite corner. Then we can come up here. And just go down the line. Real quick and easy. And we'll switch hands. quite as fast with my left hand on the soldering iron, but hey, it still works. Okay. So that's nice and soldered in now. Only a couple parts left. We got the buzzer, cap, oh I missed the switch. Dagnabbit. I am truly losing my mind. So there's the switch. And yeah, we might as well do the buzzer too. And this capacitor. All right, I'll solder those in and we'll be back. Well, I hope you don't mind. I just went ahead and finished the soldering up. I figured it was getting a little bit long. And you guys are probably more interested in what it does than, you know, how I put it together. I mean, if you've been watching my channel or any other electronic, electronics, <laughs> electronics channels for any length of time, you're probably pretty well versed on how to put these kits together. But you know, I think I paid like less than $2.50 for this with free shipping. And it's given me about an hour of enjoyment. So, five to eight volts, that's what I wanted to know. So we'll bring in the power supply here. We'll take our voltage down to just 
six volts. How's that? Seems uh, safe, right? Then we'll hook it up. I'm believing this is the ground and this one is the positive. And if I'm wrong, we will certainly know soon enough. Okay. Power's on. We got a zero. So what's this button number one do? Oh, it makes a one. Okay, so now I see what it does. Each one of the buttons, see the label, number five, that makes a five. Seven makes a seven. Eight makes an eight. Three makes a three. So what this chip here is, is a seven segment LED driver, basically. But yeah, hey, tell you what, for a $2.50 kit, I'm perfectly happy with it. What do you guys say? Leave me a note down below in the comment section. Tell me what you think. I think that's going to be it for today. I want to thank you guys for watching. Feel free to comment, subscribe, share, like, you know, all that good stuff. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you. That's it. I'm out. Peace. Unless you're the Baltimore Ravens.